Alright guys, welcome back, welcome back to the episode. Don't forget that if we do hit a thousand subscribers, then I will do our face reveal. Today I'm doing a little tractor review. Not review, but just a view. Got these out not too long ago. So this is a very nice John Deere tractor. I don't know the type of these tractors except what well, like the number and stuff like that I know that all these are John Deere I think this is supposed to model a cat but it's not I think this is like a I don't know I think it's like a little tykes so right now I have the setup a little grain cart that I got from my grandma and grandpa as well as a little tractor I got from my grandma and grandpa. This is just a little dump truck that my mom found. It works for going underneath the wagon. It's kind of realistic, but... Anyways, then over here, I have my resting tractors. I have this really nice, older model John Deere. As you can see, if you look in there, the steering wheel does work when I steer the... Come on. The steering wheel does work. Not very much, but... It works. Let's pull this off to the side. Oh yes, it also does have a hitch. Which is very helpful. Although this has not gone into the field yet. Here I have my loader tractor. This little piece right there broke, but this has also not met the field yet. I just have a little pile of dirt that I play in, but there's too much grass in it now. This also does have a hitch, as well as a little cover that goes over the hitch, which I think is actually kind of neat. This one, the steering wheel does not work. It's just its own little thing. I can barely even put my hand in there. Anyways, these are the, these two tractors. And then, on to the big workers. I was corrected by my dad. He said that this is not a big bud. He said that this is just a, what's wrong with my thing? He said that that's just a articulated John Deere tractor. It's big though. Hey guys, compared to my hand, my hand is literally, basically the size of a tire. Look how long it is compared to my arm. Yeah, it's big. I say maybe two feet long. What the heck is in there? Oh, just a power. I mean, not a twig. Blech. Right now I have it. Right now I have it pulling a disc that I also got from my grandma and grandpa. I also have a little two by four with a rock tied on the string because with my little setup which I'll show you here in a minute it would not pick up. the disc would do nothing because it didn't have any weight on it and just get lifted up by the dirt this disc here belongs to this tractor in fact they came as a set this tractor right here is made to pull this disc this tractor is made to pull this plow yeah, very nice. And on the back of both of these tractors, the hitch comes down. Yeah. Now, some of the newer models also have this little pin here. And all of them 
have this little swivel hitch on them which if needed for when you're hauling the green cart which this can do perfectly it fits just fine that fits right under like that but also what you can do I also like that little toolbox there but you can take the hitch right off and I will show you something really quick same thing on this tractor as you can do with this tractor one of my favorite features is look Come on, there's a second. How am I gonna do this? Never thought I would need to prop up my phone, but. The unexpected is happening. <laughs> oh my god, do this. Sorry guys. But that should work. The front weight has come off. It's actually a pretty neat feature to me. The thing that I like is from the winter time. They actually do make little plows that you can slip right on here. As well as little plows that you can hook onto your back. Hitch, what? Sorry guys, I had to go do something for my dad. But they do make plows that can you can fit on the front of a tractor they do make little plows that you can also use for model forage that you can hook onto the back um, oh yes let me go show you my little setup so this is what I just got done today won't be able to use it very much because it's fall so it's kind of hard to tell, but there are furrows and worms. <laughs> Lots of worms. Maybe I can... Yeah, look at that. There are furrows. So, all the work that's been done in here has been... Well, like, tearing it up and stuff was done by some garden tools. But these two tractors, this big tractor, this big tractor, both of these have been out in the field for quite a while. Um, you might be wondering, what is my favorite set to do for this? Uh, for this tractor, I don't know yet. I seriously have never actually hooked anything up to this one. This one I have had pull the plow, but that was not in this field. Although I do like the loader on it. This big bud, it actually works pretty well. Well, it did work pretty well with the loading wagon. So I lost one of the attachments. See that this one just has a little, right now it has a little ring that you just clip right on. But it used to have a little piece that you would, used to have a little piece that you would slip right in here. And then you could hook it up into these little swivel hitches.
Anyways, guys, so. I really do like the little pieces, though. Both of the tractors, that one and that one have the same pieces. This one is older. This one is newer. Um, so anyways, this one, excuse me, this one does work well with the plow, but it also works good with the cultivator and the grain wagon. I prefer having this one out in the field, uh, hooked up to either the cultivator, well not the cult, sorry, I mean the disc or the plow. That one I prefer either hooking up to the wagon or the disc. And then this work, this tractor right here, like I said, is made, it came in a set with this plow. So, this one works well with the disc and the plow. And the dump truck, obviously, the only thing that you can't even hook it up to anything. Only thing that I do with it, just put it underneath the grain wagon. Now, now what I need is a cedar and a combine. And then I'll have the complete set. Anyways, guys, I can't make the video too long because I don't have as many subscribers, so I can't make too long of a video. So anyways, I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.